Number nine, and again, this is where that we've we've referenced this a few times, so it's already in our minds. Number nine is give the person the benefit of the doubt. And it's got the wording on here, and this is similar to something we said on Samsung as well. It says, someone once told me, no one wakes up in the morning and says, I think I'm going to be a jerk today. Most of us do the best we can with resources at hand and what's going on in the moment. And that is a thought. People don't set out to be arsehole. So what, what is the reason? Is it, you know, stresses they've got going on, time pressures? Are they overtired? Have they got, you know, is it something... You know, Asperger's, autism, that sort of thing, where they're not even aware of what all these sorts of reasons that can be why you are taking, again, a personal affront to the way someone's acting that's got absolutely nothing to do with you. And again, this is a non judgmental thing. If we don't, back to your Nando's example, Joe, if you're not worrying about that judgment and not judging other people, and the person next to you is not judging and isn't worried about the judgment, and the next, and, and we all do it, so much animosity disappears from all these presumed issues that we've all we've all got between ourselves. And that's a stoicism mindset. I know I'm going about stoicism a lot because actually Ryan Holiday, who I was listening to in the video that I sent to you, says that if you're ever doing anything in the world, imagine that everybody's doing it, and and then think about the effects of that. So there's, there's no positive or negative. Neg the, the, the positive is don't, don't judge. And if everyone didn't judge, exactly what you said. If people judge, exactly imagine, imagine that world where everybody does judge. So I love this, by the way. Um, and also the other thing I was about to doubt about probably three or four years ago, I had someone going falling asleep in 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 um, mine and my colleague's training session, and we thought, God, how rude. And we was like, you know, we was thinking. But actually behind this, and, and this is when you know we had to really start a dialing that we must be guys something more going on than someone just falling asleep. And also they, they suffered with, with a condition, but immediately when you saw it, you, saw, you know, they go at a late night, why aren't they prepared? All that stuff starts going on in your mind. And I think this is a really, really big one to give them benefit. And we did like a good few days, but we even had to get pe people involved to say, well, you know, is there anything more? It made to be really a sensitive conversation around it, but we were first, we, we, almost like first reaction was what is going on, you know? So yeah, a really good one, Lee. Thank you for that.